Welcome to a healthy living video blog at workoutmaster.com. This is Ruben. And you guys know I am. Today we're going to talk about lactose intolerance. It's a huge topic. Uh, let's tear this one apart. It's a huge topic and oftentimes very controversial because people are very, very afraid oftentimes when they have had bad experience consuming dairy products that it has caused some type of digestive trouble. And uh, but the first thing that they assume is that they're actually lactose intolerant because every time they have any type of dairy is going to create a negative effect. Well, the get... official theory says that you're probably lacking the enzyme lactase, which helps your body to digest the lactose. Which is very probable, yeah. of course. So in a way, we have a bunch of people that are walking around and say, hey, I'm just genetically don't have it, therefore I'm not going to drink it. That's right. Uh, so and it's a common explanation and it happens is. quite often with many people. Mm -hmm. But the one thing that you come to find out after working with many, many, many clients is that they pretty much is that, that they have a problem digesting yes dairy products. They have a pretty much a problem digesting anything that they consume because it's obviously that they're uh, the way that they're metabolizing food and the energy that they create is not enough. So obviously the problem comes with energy production and digestion, not just being very allergic or reactive to certain foods. Exactly. And if you refer to an episode about nuts and seeds, you'll remember that nuts and seeds contains enzyme inhibitors within themselves so they disrupt your digestive tract and they destroy the enzymes. So what ends up happening a lot of times when you d eat seeds and nuts in any form they basically start messing with your enzymes and one of the enzymes they're probably messing is the lactase that helps you to di digest the lactose. Absolutely. This is quite often how a, a conversation might go between a client and I and I ask him, uh, do you consume any dairy? And they'll tell you, no, I'm lactose intolerant. And I said, uh, are you? And they're like, yeah, yeah, for a long time. And I said, uh, do you uh, eat cheese? And, uh, and they'll say, uh, no, because I'm lactose intolerant. I'm like, and what does that have to do with anything? Cheese does not contain lactose. So you're telling me that you cannot digest something that has and something that doesn't have it, so it doesn't make any sense at the end what they're telling you. They're not fully aware of what's happening. So what I end up doing is that I end up start introducing dairy back into their, you know, meals, mm -hmm. and they I make it, or we actually do it actually as a group. We do it in very, very small increments. So we oftentimes, we only ask a person either to start eating cheese and progressing to, uh, until they get a little bit healthier and they can digest more in different foods. Or yes, if they do uh, take a chance with the milk, is that they start taking small dosages at a time, which it could be anywhere from one to three ounces, no more than that. If they end up gulping a big quantity of milk, it means in a shake or however they choose to consume it, what happens is that they will have a negative effect. But when they dose it down a lot, what happens is that they digest it really, really easily. It gives them very, very good energy and they don't have none of the negative side effects that oftentimes are correlated with having lactose intolerance. Absolutely, and milk is an excellent product. It's actually one of the perfect snacks that you can possibly have. Mm -hmm. It has fat, it has protein, and it has carbohydrate. So it is highly advisable to consume milk, specifically for a woman especially the ones who are afraid to get like osteoporosis and things of the sort because of the high calcium content. It is an excellent product. So this is what we recommend guys. Start cutting down on nuts and seeds. Start healing your digestive tract and following the whole episodes that we talk about what you can eat and things of the sort. And if you want to experiment, start with a small dosage of milk. Don't overdo it. If you get a negative symptom, just drop down the dose. Absolutely. Chances exactly. are you will be able to build it up to quite some uh, serious consumption. Of Absolutely. Yeah. And it's also worth mentioning too that people that are suffering from hypothyroidic, you know, they are hypothyroidism, they actually they're going to have a very low count of lactase enzymes in their body. So at the same time for those people it could be a little bit of a hard issue to start working with, uh, with dairy products if they in fact have this lack of the And it goes stuff. vice versa, by the way, if you lactose intolerant, there's a super high chance that the you are, have a hypothyroid. So if any of you guys are watching, you think you lactose intolerant, one thing that you should be checking if you are hypothyroid or not. Absolutely. Yeah. And basically the thyroid is actually the mechanism to make an energy. So you can go back to our episode where we mentioned, you know, how healthy are you and what measurements are you using to describe the level of your health use those uh, key points that we mentioned there and see exactly how healthy you are or you're not. Because Absolutely. pretty much it will give you a good overview of what's going on with your body in a very simple 
fashion. Sure. And then we'll do more episodes about hypothyroidism because it seemed to be a very big topic of conversation. Not to mention there's a major epidemic of it in the world. Yes. So anyway guys, uh, remember, if you start cleaning up your diet and start drinking milk, then your future looks better already. Uh, if you share this episode with your friends, then their future looks better too. Uh, until next time. Pretty much, Professor, that's it. Thank you very much, guys.